Hello, hello and hello. How are you all doing today? Great. It's a pleasure to have you here. Today is the 22nd of December 2020. Compliments of the season to everybody. Of course, as we all know, during this period, we expect the markets to start to thin out. We expect liquidity to drop. We expect uh, those in the market to, of course, go on holidays and uh, we should see sideways market right so uh this first chart that we're looking at right in front of us this is uh the bitcoin we already know bitcoin has been doing some crazy numbers uh i wasn't really expecting twenty five thousand uh this year but look where we are we got to twenty four thousand marker and then it's presently playing in this range right so who knows what might happen this week but don't forget from thursday uh today is tuesday from thursday things should get very very thin and we could have the market breakouts and uh, we test or break to the downside we test and move in this manner and that is the bitcoin for you now the dollar index yesterday we saw uh serious uh buying pressure on uh, the dollar and of course from the buying pressure on dollar you would expect the likes of the euro usd to fall as we can see over here so it had its massive drop and it got to this area of support as you can see here don't forget your key levels are very very important and as it got here what happened again it reacted to that level and then pushed higher and of course we i or we always say that the dollar index is a major factor when it comes to uh analyzing most of the majors and gold right when you have the dollar index pushing higher you have dollar index pushing high, higher you should expect the likes of euro usd pounds the aussie kiwi to be dropping and you should expect the likes of the uh, dollar swizzy dollar yen and dollar card to be appreciating and also for gold the safe haven you expect it to be dropping as well so this is just a good gauge for you to have a better understanding of what to expect whenever you see some movements with respect to the dollar index now the dollar index seems to be stuck and of course we've been talking about the all-time lows uh, on the dollar index and you can see the candle that we had yesterday we had this bearish pin and i'm not sure we'd have a candle that would uh, wipe out all this uh, line from this bearish pin that's why it's called a pinocchio a pin bar it's showing that this candle is lying and most likely we should have it drop further so let's see how that goes if we see the dollar index drop further today then uh looking at it from the hour, one hour perspective we should have something like this happen where we have a breakout of this area we test and then drop further and then this is where we'll be looking for to ambush the market looking at this area here we always say it's an area looking at this area here you'll see a little form of support here resistance resistance now acting as support that means that this is clearly a flip zone a flip zone is an area that acts as support and also acts as resistance as well so now from what we have here we're just going to wait for the dollar index to do its thing and then we'll use that to have a rough idea what's happening on the majors and gold right and uh, cable um, news coming out from the uk now is that the European countries have closed their borders uh, due to the mutation or the coronavirus that have been discovered. And of course, they're trying to seriously curb this COVID-19. So that's something that uh, the European countries have decided to do. And I believe another case has been found in Italy. So we hope that this mutation doesn't get out of hand, right? Um, well, we're still waiting for more positive news on the P-Pfizer. Uh, the vaccination has been carried out in the UK, in the US and other countries. Uh, let's see, hopefully uh, we're able to curb and contain this virus. And as the year is coming to an end, uh, we seriously hope that this doesn't, you know, we seriously hope that this doesn't follow us into the new year, right? Uh, the crude oil, as we have over here, the crude oil also had a massive drop and if you notice we've been having gaps right we've been having gaps from sunday open on most of these instruments you're having gaps 
and of course the gap traders have been trying to close gaps that's one thing with gap traders you can see that this gap here was closed even though it took a little while it has been closed and this one here has also been closed over here so you notice that when you have gaps you could have the gaps uh, uh, traders selling in all these positions until the market finally comes down to close the gap and then they have more than uh, you know uh, positive positions you could have this one in positive 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 but of course they would have gone through heavy drawdowns i'm not advising this this is an easy way to blow your account so it's best to stay away from this right so nothing much on the radar for today today is tuesday as i said it's just about uh, three days to the christmas uh, period and of course a lot of people are already on holiday mode those that could travel have traveled you know we have a lot of restrictions now lockdowns because of the coronavirus but of course a lot of people are laying low and with that said uh we're just going to be uh, observing what's happening no pressure to trade of course money your money in your pocket is better than uh your money in somebody else's pocket right so this is just a quick one just to talk about what's happening now uh, i will update this as things progress don't forget to ensure you use proper stop loss and also ensure uh you calculate your risk management appropriately right if this video was a bit helpful to you hit the subscribe button to get notifications on when new videos will be posted and also give this a thumbs up and of course comment below for questions right for free mini courses on beginners course or for free mini courses on the advanced course use the link below and watch and learn ask questions at the end of the day, you need a mentor or someone to show you the ropes on how to trade on a daily basis, right? Reach out to me, contact me, and we can work something out. Okay, thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day. Compliments of the season. Ensure to be safe. Wear your face mask. Wash your hands regularly. Social distancing, basically. If you don't have to go out, please don't go out. Okay, happy holidays to you, and goodbye.